What's up, y'all, and welcome back to my channel. Salut à tous et bienvenue sur ma chaîne. So in today's video, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I set up and design my website on Shopify. So let's go ahead and just jump right into the video. So first things first, this is my current website. Um, tagline is Feminine Girls by Praise. You go down, you can see one of our best-selling dresses, one of our best-selling sets, and then a little dress here, and that's your girl. Um, yeah, so the website is okay. I think it's pretty basic. And then if you go up here to the View More page, this takes you directly to the dress. We only have two reviews on the dress. We definitely need to get our reviews up. And then as you can see, the product shots are here and then the reviews are on the bottom. And then if you go to the product page, the catalog page, you can see that our current product photos are here. Product photos look nice. You can see all of the items are on sale. You I also wanna pause this video right here and let you guys know that I did wanna do a little giveaway in the video. I'm gonna be giving out makeup, products, maybe even some clothing. All you guys have to do to enter into this giveaway is go to the Praise Her Instagram, like the latest 10 to nine photos and comment on at least one photo. And if you share any of the photos on your Instagram stories, that would even boost your chances of winning any of the prizes. Liking pictures of clothing that you guys like with your feedback because it really helps me, helps my Instagram page, helps my business. Now let's go ahead and get back into editing my Shopify site. But these are some of the raw, unedited photos that I can basically put on my website. For the edits, I'm gonna be using Final Cut Pro as well as Canva. So I have my faves here. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to Shopify's backend and then I'm gonna customize a new theme. I'm gonna keep the same theme that I have just because I like it and it works. So narrative is the one that I have and Shopify allows you to slip from website to mobile. And I feel like when you're on mobile, these just don't look as good when it goes to YouTube. I don't know, maybe it's just me. Obviously videos are always great for websites. I just don't like that you have to click it, but you can get that if you wanna pay for a paid theme. So I need four photos for the very, very top. I need a photo for right here, right under the page, and then I can edit a video, and then I can add multiple photos there. I would just have to recognize that this is gallery. So if I wanna add an image, I can add an image and make it three. And if I wanted to move the gallery, for example, up, you can move the gallery anywhere and it's gonna show you exactly what it looks like when it's up. And then once again, like I said, with Shopify, they show you the mobile, they can show you full screen, they can show you desktop, and it allows you to basically customize it the way you want. Because on Shopify in the back end, it tells you the percentage of users that view it on mobile versus website, so many people curate their website to be viewed on, on, web, on a laptop or a desktop. But if you look at your percentages, 80% or more if you're using social media marketing are viewing from their iPhone. So personally for me, I like to always edit with the iPhone tab. So even when I'm picking these pictures that go up to the top, I wanna to make sure that the, they can um, be fit to vertical. That's a tip that you definitely, that's a tip that I wish I would have known before spending hours on creating a website in this format, knowing that 80% or 70% of my people or even more are actually viewing it on mobile. So now, after I've kind of taken an inventory of what I need, I go ahead and choose my favorites. Okay, so we are gonna dive in and do the banner first. So I went ahead and I went through all my favorites and I labeled the ones that I want for the banner as the banner. So before I actually spend time editing these photos, what I like to do is actually test them to see if they work. Um, you guys will be able to see in the video what I mean by that. So what I do is I just go to Canva where um, where the dimensions are already of size. And as you can see right here, this photo looks great for a banner photo, but it doesn't necessarily fit. 
So I kind of just play around with it and see if what I want to do, whether I want to crop it, if this is going to look weird or not, or if I just keep the photo the same and just cut off the hills. I feel like the hills give it a look, but I'm going to go ahead and just weigh my options. And then I'm finding another photo, but the thing with this photo that sucks is the focus is more so on their faces rather than the products, which is fine, but obviously when you're trying to sell photo or try when you're trying to sell clothes, you want the focus to be on the clothing rather than their beautiful faces. These two are really good, so I'm going to go ahead and just go ahead and download. And then after I download them from Canva, I'm gonna go ahead and insert them into Shopify just to see how it looks. And this is super important because as I mentioned, the mobile view is completely different than the desktop view. So before I spend time editing these photos and doing all of that, I wanna make sure that they're gonna work for both, for both desktop as well as mobile. As, as you can see right here, it says tell your story. You can customize it in Shopify to say whatever you want, whether that's winter sale or blowout sale or whatever. Um, you can also see the two options of the banners that I have, whether it be the one that was cropped or the one that actually shows her shoes. And then from here, I like to go in and then look at the mobile view. This photo is okay, but it's not super ideal. This is actually something that I don't like at all because it focuses on one person and not necessarily the outfit. This one is pretty good. This one is perfect for a banner and this is perfect for a banner. Now I'm gonna go ahead and look at some of my vertical options and insert the photo. As you can see, the ones that look really good in mobile view sometimes don't really look that great in desktop view. This photo right here of her in the blue um, looks great on mobile, but then on desktop, it doesn't look that great. So you definitely, before you wanna spend time editing and all of that, Put, plug all of the pictures that you want to use in first so that you can weigh your options and see if it's worth editing and see if it looks good and then you want to then invest your time and effort into editing. This photo is also really cute and I think it would be perfect as a vertical photo for mobile view considering most of my customers view their um, view my site from a mobile perspective rather than the desktop. And then from here you can kind of play with the order and figure out which one you want to go first and see which one looks the best for your taste and preferences. When you are on the slideshow tab, Shopify allows you to customize the link clicks. I want this to go to a product, so I'm gonna click product and then I'm going to type in the product name. This basically allows the consumer to see something they like. They can tap it and it's gonna take them straight to the product page. Shopify also allows you to customize the button label whether you do have an e-com store and you want it to say shop now or get the sale or shop while supplies last or whatever creative thing that you think of, you can go ahead and customize the button. And I am going to change the color of the buttons later in the video. But as of right now, as I said, my biggest focus is plugging things in to see if it works and to see if I like it before I make any changes that I'm probably going to end up changing again um, by the end of the video. And this video today is sponsored by Audible. As you guys know, I have been working with Audible for a very, 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 very long time. And based off of the current content that I have been posting, you guys have been um, really receptive to the audios that I've been posting and you guys really love them. Audible has a wide range of genres to choose from, but I'm always an advocate for the self-help and motivational type of videos. It really helps me as far as a business owner just in the morning, first thing I'm doing is I'm listening to my audio book of choice and I'm just starting my day. And if you haven't tried Audible yet, you guys can get a free audiobook within the first 30 days by going to www.audible.com slash findguru or texting findguru to 500-500. Just try one of the audiobooks that I go ahead and insert right here and just try it in the morning. Just put it on first thing before you touch your phone to go on social media or your email or phone calls or text. Just sit into yourself. Let somebody pour some life or motivation into you every single day. And I promise there will be a huge change. But yeah, let's go ahead and get back into the website. Here, I'm gonna be working on a gallery. Galleries are great because it shows the product in different formats, whether that's product photos or lifestyle photos or the same outfit on different people. So I'm gonna go ahead and make this one kind of like a same outfit, different people type of gallery where people can kind of see it on different body shapes, different skin tones and things of that nature. 
As you can see, the font text on this is red and that's something that I don't like, but I'm gonna be able to change in the back end. Then for this gallery, I wanted to kind of show you that sometimes you wanna just play out and see which ones look best. You might have some really good aesthetically pleasing photos that look great for Instagram, but necessarily together, these ones don't really go in my opinion. So once again, I have to stress before you spend so much time editing all your website photos, kind of put all of your photos in and plug them in kind of like a puzzle just to see what flows and what looks good. Because the worst thing is when you spend all of your time and effort editing photos and you don't even necessarily use them for your website. And this is why when I choose a theme, I kind of do a content um, checklist and then I pick out my favorite photos for each checklist component and then I plug them in to see if they actually work. So this is kind of the basis of what we have right now. I really like this photo as the opening photo and then you go down to the gallery and we're gonna change the opacity as well as the text overlay. And we go down here to another gallery that I inserted, which I think looks really nice. The same dress, different angles. And then I have this as kind of like the final gallery decision making process. If you are a website designer or somebody who helps branding, I am trying to grow the Fine Guru Golden Praise Her team. So if you are a creative and you have a background in graphic design, whether that's editing, video editing, uh, website editing, or anything like that, send me all of your information because I would, I would love to work with you. I wanna see your work, I wanna see what you can do, and I think it'd be great if my supporters became part of the team. So go ahead and put all your information down below if you fit the criteria of having a very professional. You gotta love what you're doing. You have to be great at it. You have to be great at it, skilled. You know what you're doing. You see my vision and you can help me take my vision from here and elevate it to here, right? I'm now going to add a product feature. Because the sparkly set is above in the gallery, I then wanna transition and put the actual product. So I just go ahead and click the product and it inserts in and basically anytime somebody clicks it, they can go ahead and shop. The reason why I like to do this obviously is because they're just looking at it in the gallery and if they really, really like it, the next swipe is encouraging them to buy. So here I'm gonna create a custom collection that I can actually have on my homepage. Creating collections are great because it allows you to bunch up products so that you can feature them on your website or on certain pages. I'm gonna choose manual and I'm going to choose the items that are the most in stock because obviously those are the items that I wanna focus on selling. So after you click manual, you can then click and add the products like that. And by having all of these products that are higher in inventory, if you think about marketing, the things that people usually wanna buy are the things that are in the window or the things that are displayed on the website. You can then go ahead and choose how many rows you want these to go in. This is gonna be more essential when you view it on desktop rather than mobile. I personally always like one row or two two photos per row so that the photos are big because I personally, as a consumer, I hate online shopping where I can't necessarily see the product photo unless I click it. So I always like things to be as full screen as possible. Another thing that can be a little bit annoying is the opacity that you put over it. Opacity is basically the little shadow that goes over the picture, but then it also allows your um, text to be more of the focus. But in this case, because I'm selling clothes, I want the clothes to be the focus rather than the text. So I'm gonna put it to zero. And then you can choose to keep these buttons on. They have a wide array of options for buttons, whether that's carts, um, a check mark, clocks, padlocks, trucks, boxes. Um, but with all of that and all of the options, I always choose to have nothing just because once again, I'm selling clothes and I want clothing to be the focus, but I did wanna go ahead and show you the options that Shopify has. And then for the text overlay, I'm gonna put one of our slogans, taglines, affirmations, which is you deserve to be praised. This doesn't necessarily have to go on every single photo, but I always make sure that I add this somewhere just so that I can develop my brand identity. And then because we want everything to be nice and user friendly so people can, um, so we can encourage people to buy, I always make sure that every single photo is going to be tagged to something, whether that's a collection page, whether that's a specific variant, AKA a, a specific product, or if it is a additional page that I want people to go to for information. 
and to get rid of that dark shadow, AKA the opacity, you just bring it down to zero and then you can see the shadow is off. You can also change the color of the shadow if you wanted to go for a theme where you had like a pink tint or a purple tint. But I personally don't like any of that. I just like the raw photo. One thing people love to do is they love to add things to the cart, but they hate paying for shipping. So what I like to do is in between mid scroll about halfway through the homepage, I like to remind people that there is free shipping in the US when you spend over $100. This is a good time to add in information or just to remind people that there is a 40% off sale or um, something is discounted for a limited time because as people are scrolling, they can easily get distracted, but seeing something like free shipping or 40% off or sale only for today encourages people to continue to shop. So now I'm gonna just go ahead and do a brief overview just to kind of see what we have going on so far. So I really do like how the collection is front and center. All of the products are clear. These products, photos are edited because I have already done that. But everything on the site as far as the gallery, um, like these pictures here, or the banners have not been edited. So they're definitely gonna appear brighter after I edit them. Just once again, making sure that everything is in place and it looks good before I commit to editing a whole bunch of pictures that I'm not even gonna use. And then we have some of the items that we have in a smaller quantity in stock at the bottom of the website, just to encourage people to purchase those as well. Now this is the desktop view, and as you can see, the desktop view is different from the mobile view as far as some of the features. I really love this slider in desktop view, but it's not necessarily the most convenient in mobile view. Because this comes in two different variants, and, it, and, it, and I also shot it on two different models and body types, I actually wanna switch out some of these slides for, for Taylor, who is the other model. So I'm gonna just go ahead and go to the slide and delete the photo of Sky, and then insert the photos of Taylor. This is why going through it multiple times, it's much better before you commit on editing, just because I'm telling you, if you're anything like me and your editing process um, continuously changes, then it just makes more sense to plug in the photos first and then do all of your edits last. And now I'm super happy with the slider because it shows not only diversity in variants, but also diversity in the way it's worn on two different body types and two different skin tones. And as I continue to make changes, I actually want this in the large format so that you can see more of the full outfit. And I'm really happy the way, with the way that this looks and it's gonna look really good in mobile as well. Shopify is honestly something that you kind of just have to play around with because as you can see, there's so many options and sometimes the options that they have aren't super apparent. So it's one of those things like getting a brand new iPhone or getting a brand new technology period where you have to just really just spend a lot of time and effort seeing um, what works best. And I personally love, 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 love the way this looks and I've actually never done this before because I always like to start a gallery and then end with a featured product. I'm gonna go ahead and add the Scarlet dress under Sky's photos. But one thing I don't like is I don't like this product photo just because this is a multi-use dress and I don't want people to think that it's just a short dress. So, and then here you can see that each one, small, medium, large, has their own photo. So the way that you fix that is you go to the product. Once you click the product, you have to go and scroll down to the variants and then you click the picture next to the variant and I wanted to change the photo for the small and then you change it to any photo of your choice. You wanna go ahead and edit your photos. I personally like to edit all of my photos on the phone just because it's easy or you can do it in Lightroom. So for example, I'm gonna go ahead and open up Lightroom and here I have the photo that I already wanted to edit. So basically when I imported this picture, we don't have a lot of products. These sweats that she's wearing in this picture are blue and I don't like the way that looks and I knew that while I was taking the picture, but you can simply go in Lightroom and you can go down to the color tab right here and I'm gonna click on the light blue color or you could click on the red, you can click on the orange. So because I click on blue, I'm able to basically change the hue, the saturation and the lightness on this item. So I want it to actually look like it matches so I can make it white, I can make it gray, I can make it a whole bunch of different colors if I choose to. 
So as you can see, as I slide that over, now it looks like she has on gray sweats and we didn't have to buy new clothes. We didn't have to cheat, anything like that. So I have different photos in Lightroom that, you've, that I've edited. Basically all the pictures of them with this bomber jacket on, I edited the pants to be white. And you can see I did that here. After you, after you edit one picture, you can basically edit all. All you have to do is copy and it copies the edit and then you would just go to the next photo and you would paste it. And it allows you to see the dress in different angles and it's, I think it's cute. This can go on the website or it can definitely go on the Instagram page. So this is a video that I shot on my camera, which is great because I'm gonna basically make a video for the website as well. So I base, so what I like to do is I like to take some of my favorite clips from um, the website and basically dump them here so that then I can go ahead and add a video here. <clears throat> so I'm gonna go ahead and edit that really quick. All right, y'all, so that concludes me setting up my store on Shopify. I hope you guys really liked the way it came out and I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget, if you guys are interested in any of the items that you saw in this video, you guys can get up to 40% off on most of the things that you saw being edited in this video by going to www.praise-her.com. And if you guys have any questions, any comments, any videos that you would want me to elaborate more so on Shopify, go ahead and put those down in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Watching, and I will see you in the next upload. Bisous!